Colorado Springs elected leaders are standing behind a firefighter now accused of wrongful death. He faces a lawsuit for the 76 year old woman's death after she was run over by a fire department truck. The firefighter pleaded guilty to careless driving in criminal court, but 13 Investigates is learning the city will foot the bill for legal fees connected to a civil lawsuit. Investigative reporter Dan Beatty is live in Dorchester Park where that woman died. Dan. According to the city, the firefighter was responding to a small fire here at Dorchester Park, driving across the field on top of it would appear to be a small uh, a small pile of items. But underneath that pile was 76 year old Margaret Miller. She died on scene. The crash happened at Dorchester Park back in October. An individual was struck by the brush truck and that individual is deceased on scene. Now, three months later, 76-year-old Margaret Miller's daughter is suing for wrongful death. The lawsuit is against the city of Colorado Springs, the fire department, El Paso County Emergency Services, and firefighter Wesley Cosgrove. Today, Colorado Springs City Council agreed with their staff's recommendation to represent Cosgrove and cover his legal fees. We want to show and demonstrate our full support for what he was doing while he was on the job doing his duty. According to the city attorney's office, Cosgrove, quote, was acting in the course and scope of his employment and was acting in good faith. But Cosgrove pleaded guilty to careless driving back in February. 13 investigates asked council members about why they were paying Cosgrove's legal bills given the guilty plea. Criminal perspective, that's how he pleaded. From a civil perspective, there's a difference and we want to support him to get uh, in court on the civil perspective. There's a difference between the criminal piece and the civil piece. Following his careless driving conviction, the court ordered Cosgrove to pay $238 in fines, complete 100 hours of community service, and serve one year of probation. Cosgrove was never disciplined by the fire department following Miller's death. The Colorado Springs Fire Department declined to comment on the lawsuit at this time until they get further direction from city leaders. As a part of the suit, Miller's family is seeking money for damages. We reached out to their family attorney. We haven't heard a response yet. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Dan Beatty, 13 Investigates.